Hey guys, it's Pimp Daddy 28 here, and uh, today I'm going to give you guys a bit of a helpful video on uh, how to save some money on uh, E-Match uh, while you're purchasing uh, items for your uh, firing system to kind of uh, set up uh, for your launch site or your shows. So, uh, pretty much what I have in this bag, and I'm going to open it here as I kind of show you. Oh, hopefully I can do this with my hand. Um, it's basically... And what this is, is basically an extension for my E-Match. And what I, my, I mean by that is, is that the E-Match that I buy is the shortest one you can purchase, which is 11.81 inches, basically one foot. And it's obviously the cheapest, uh, saves you money, but obviously with that comes a, a, a cost, and that is that you're forced to put your uh, modules uh, pretty much very, very close to... Uh, your your cakes and and your lawn site and 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 at risk of basically damaging your module so obviously in most instances many pyros buy uh e matches that are at least five uh, six feet long maybe even longer so basically the, the problem with that is that it costs way more and and buying that obviously uh the longer e match will in time as you continue to buy more and more it will cost you uh quite the uh pretty penny so basically what I, I did, and I'm hoping that this will help some of you guys out, is I pretty much, you could say, created my own extension for the E-Match. One that will pretty much take care of the issue permanently and will uh, allow me to save a lot of money uh, in the process. So basically what I did is I built an extension for the 11.81 E-Match uh, that, uh, that I buy to make it basically a rigged six-foot e-match so to speak and what i what i pretty much what i used is black wire and alligator clip wires and uh pink uh butt splice connectors or 18 or sorry 22 to 18 gauge uh butt splice connectors never mind the terminology uh i'll list everything uh, uh in the description below the video uh, and i'll show you guys pretty much the process of what i did uh in order to uh, make this uh extension so let's get to basically what the tools that I use to pretty much get all this together. Um, I used uh, bison grips, uh, wire cutters, and a torch lighter to uh, glue the, the pink uh, butt splice connectors to the alligator clip wire and the uh, black wire. Now, you could use a, the preferred method is to use a heat gun. And you could, I have a heat gun, I did, just didn't feel like I had to use it. The torch lighter was more than enough, like a simple, short. Uh, torch lighter like this nothing fancy you don't even have to use like the burns matic torch that I usually use you could just use this something small like a dragon torch lighter so um, so yeah uh, again I used I pretty much purchased 40 uh, 40 inch roll of uh, black wire which is uh, three feet four inches and I believe the cost of it for the whole thing came out to about 13 bucks and I think it, I want to say it was 34 uh, cents per inch. Uh, I could be wrong on that, uh, so don't don't quote me on that. But uh, also used uh, a pack of uh, 20 alligator clip uh, wires. Uh, now I know some of you are, are, and these are one foot long. I know some of you are gonna ask, you know, why didn't I just use alligator clips? Well. These uh, cost these this twenty pack of alligator clip wires cost me about seven eight bucks on eBay, and they're pretty much the same price at Walmart or any department store that you could uh, probably purchase at, or right around there, give or take. Now, if you want to purchase just alligator clip wires, uh, particularly the plastic ones, which are obviously less dangerous, uh, those will cost you about seven to eight dollars a piece for one. And if you want the pair, it'll probably come out to about 12, 13 bucks. So it's to me, it's much better just to buy the, the alligator clip wire, which gives you another extension to the whole thing, and it's cheaper. Um, so you could buy the, the alligator clips. It's up to you if you feel that it's a lot safer. Now these, they do have a shield around them, a rubber shield. Uh, and the reason the reason why I use these, I know you'll, you'll some of you will probably say, well, it's got the metal at the end and it could touch and it's dangerous. But here's the thing, though, I could always split the uh, the E match a little bit more, and it'll it'll just never touch. It's, it's it'll be hard for it to touch uh, uh, the the alligator clips to touch each other. So, um, 
so it, it really is up to you. I mean, in the long run, either way, you'll probably save money regardless. But uh, this is just this is I mean the price difference between the regular allig allig the plastic alligator clips uh, to alligator clip wires is is a big difference. So um, and also you uh, get the butt the butt splice connectors to uh, connect uh, both the alligator clip wire and uh, the the, uh, the black wire. Um, and pretty much you hook up the uh, the end of the E-match to the alligator clips here and hook it up to the module and you're pretty much set. And uh, so that's pretty much uh, the tools that you'll need uh, to make this. I'll show you guys the process. I, I recorded it uh, so you guys could see um, pretty much uh, what I did, or should I say what my associate did, because I was busy recording it myself. I couldn't do it myself. So uh, I recorded it for you guys uh, on, on tape just to show you guys the process and, and how it works. And I'll explain it as I go along. I'll kind of dub my voice over the whole process so I could kind of, because I didn't really uh, explain it an order in the video it was kind of all over the place and I figured it'd probably be best if I kind of dub over it and pretty much say the process step by step so you guys could have a bit of an easier read on what's going on so uh, so uh, here's the process and I'll show you guys pretty much what I did and I'll follow it up at the end with uh, pretty much hooking the the wire one of these wires up to the module and proving that it works all right so uh, here's the uh Pretty much the process. You take one of the uh, alligator clip uh, wires. As you see here, we got the green one. You, now these still, both ends will have alligator clips on them. Just cut off the one end. You're gonna only need just the one end. And with the end that has the exposed wire, you're gonna strip, uh, strip it down until a wire is exposed. And you're gonna use that end to connect it to the uh, the black wire. And you're going to strip the black wire as well uh, until the, the wire is exposed. And you're going to connect them both with the uh, the butt splice connector, the pink one, with the uh, 22 to 18 gauge uh, size. Um, then you're going to squeeze down uh, with the uh, the bolt uh, with the uh, vising grips. You're going to squeeze down in the middle to kind of connect them both to keep them in place. Uh, and it's it's obviously it's gonna take a little a little force, so you're gonna to have to kind of put a little bit a little bit of uh, force into it to kind of make sure it's in place. And then you're gonna use either a heat gun or a torch lighter. A torch lighter is fine. It's recommended that you probably use uh, usually standard uses heat gun, but you don't have to do that. But uh, a torch lighter is fine. Then you pretty much torch uh, the uh, the both sides of the uh, the butt splice connectors to connect. Pretty much glue the connector to the wires so they'll, they'll be held in place and it'll, it'll, it should stay in place um, it'll, be, it'll be pretty hard to pull it apart I've, I've tried pulling it apart myself and it, it, unless you're really really pulling with force I highly doubt you're gonna these are gonna come apart so so you do the same thing to the uh, the second uh, wire you cut off one side expose the wire of the uh, alligator clip wire and connect it to the the black wire and uh, like I said, these alligator clip uh, wires are one, about one foot long. The uh, the black wire I, I purchased is 40 inches uh, long, so three feet, four inches. Uh, you could do it longer as, as long as you want. My mine came out to about 13 bucks for the in, for the 40 inch roll, so it could be as long as you want. Just uh, um, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um. Now you use vison grips uh, to squeeze down the butt splice connector. You use the uh, the wire cutter to strip down, strip off uh, the the wires, and, and also to split the wires as well. You're gonna have to split the uh, the black wire uh, in half as well with uh, the wire cutter, and also the torch lighter to uh, to uh, pretty much uh, glue the uh, the wires together. So that's uh, what my associate is pretty much uh, doing here. I'm recording the whole thing, so uh, he had to pretty much do uh, most of the legwork. I was holding the wire for him so he could uh, pretty much uh, have some help. All right, so you pretty much uh, repeat the whole process. Uh, after you're obviously done uh, using the uh, lighter, you make sure you uh, blow on the uh, butt splice connector. Make sure it cools down so it stays in place. And don't burn yourself as well in the process. And then you use the uh, the, the wire cutter also to 
kind of strip or split the uh, the black wire so you could uh, uh, pretty much strip the ends and those ends are what you're going to be using uh, to insert into uh, the uh, the module uh, for each uh, for the for each queue um, and you're going to have to have them exposed and you're going to pretty much make sure you twist them so you can stay straight uh, so you uh, insert them into the module All right, we got the uh, module over here. Let me turn it on. Got the uh, wire over here. Let me pause the video. I'm gonna can't do this with one hand. All right, so got the wire inside the module here. And as you see here, it's live, and it's got the red light on, so it pretty much tells you that it. It's on and it works, so here it is. All right, so uh, this is pretty much about the size of what I kind of rigged up over there. Uh, two meters is pretty much about six point, uh, six point six, six and a half feet probably, just about. So, and what we got going over there with the with the uh, the black wire and the alligator clips and the E-match itself comes out to about six feet so just buying the e-match will get you you'll spend 36 37 bucks uh, here on eBay uh, to get them where you could buy pretty much the let me type in the one 11.81 inches you know how much that one gets you Alright, so you, for a hundred of the 11.81 inches, you only spend $16. Whereas if you get the uh, 60 pieces of the 2 meters, it's $36. So, I mean, if you multiply it, or if you calculate it, so 40% 40, 40 more, basically, for the total that you have here. It'll be about 60 bucks, maybe, between 60 to $70 for a hundred pieces of 2 meter. Compared to uh, 100 pieces of the uh, one foot or the 11.81 inches, which comes out to uh, yeah right here, which comes out to 16 bucks. So you save essentially about 50 dollars right around there for doing it the way I did it, and you don't have to spend that extra money. That's a lot of money, and you keep using that over and over again to spend on. Uh, the e-match eventually builds up so you could save hundreds maybe thousands of dollars depending upon the size of your show and the amount of e-match that you use um, it's definitely worth it to kind of rig this up yourself and that's why I kind of wanted to show you guys basically what how I'm doing it you know thought about getting the, the bigger e-match but it's just not worth it for the money when I could just have a more permanent solution okay guys so um just wanted to show you guys real quickly what one of these uh, looks like here. You got the uh, the black wire, which uh, this comes to about 3 feet 4 inches long, as you see here. Now, um, I did want to mention that uh, with uh, the wire here, it's probably going to come, come with some wear and tear uh, over constant use. So maybe down the line, you may have to replace the wire, but it's probably highly unlikely unless you keep moving this around a lot. So... I mean, if you don't really move this around a lot, it should pretty much last with you guys uh, for any amount of time uh, that you use it for. So, um, also comes with the, uh, the alligator clip wires here. Um, now, these, uh, you get a pack of 20 uh, of these for like around seven, eight dollars uh, from eBay. So, um, pretty much you'll, for, for, for this purpose, you'll need, uh, they'll come out to about 10 sets. Because you'll need uh, two wires for each of the the uh, the end wire for the igniter. So, and this uh, roll of black wire comes out to about three four cents a foot, or three four uh, yeah three four cents a foot. So you could uh, pretty much get this from your local Home Depot and whatnot. And so this the forty foot cost me about thirteen dollars. So, um, along with the uh, the alligator clip wires that comes out to about twenty bucks. And this is just one time I have to pay this total amount. And then the E-Match, which uh, you get 100 count of the uh, the one foot for about 16 bucks from eBay. So 
All this uh, together will cost you, give or take, about between thirty-five to forty bucks, um, and that's all. All you'll you'll only only pay the the wire and the alligator clip wire pretty much uh, once. And also forgot to mention the uh, the butt the butt splice connectors, uh, the pink ones, which are uh, eighteen to twenty-two gauge uh, for the size. Um, and as I mentioned before. Uh, this is pretty much stuck together. It won't come apart. Uh, once you put them together, you use the vising grips uh, to press down on the wire after you strip uh, the black wire. And then you um, use a, either uh, a heat gun or, or a torch lighter. Um, either or, um, it doesn't matter, uh, will work. Um, and it'll, it'll pretty much stay in place. So, and you got the, uh, the E-match here. And what you do is you put it into the alligator uh, clip wires here and it'll pretty much stay in there won't pull out and make sure you don't have any of the uh, it, it shouldn't come to that but make sure the alligator clip wires don't touch each other on the end here I mean it's surrounded by a pretty good shield here that won't allow that to happen and you could splice the uh, the e-match a little bit more just to make sure that doesn't happen but it, even if it, you don't splice it it, sh it shouldn't it should be fine it shouldn't touch each other so um, so yeah that's pretty much it this comes out to about five and a half to six feet and as I mentioned before, uh, if you buy a 2 meter uh, E-match, uh, 160 count, that'll come out to about uh, 36 bucks. So if you're calculating it and bump it up to 100 count, it'll probably be around 60 bucks. So with the way I'm doing it, you only spend one time uh, payment of 20 bucks total for the, for the wires and the, uh, the clips. And then 16 bucks for the 100 count of the E-match or whatever you however you many you want to spend so all you'll end up doing is paying for the e-match the the one the one foot one foot e-match or whatever size you want you're comfortable with and so you won't have to pay extra for the the longer uh the longer e-matches uh that they they have for sale so it's a pretty good uh pretty much a pretty good way to save some money especially if you keep using a lot of these um it adds up down the line you might save hundreds even thousands of dollars so i mean figured I'd just do this way for myself just to kind of save save me a few bucks and I'm pretty sure if you guys do the same thing and you could do it the same exact way I did it I mean you could maybe use yeah you can use the same way exact way I do it maybe you want to augment a few things or change a few things just pretty much the same basic idea and uh it'll pretty much work so um that's pretty much it uh hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it helps out uh, anyone who's willing to save some money and I'll see you guys next time.